at the computer. Unfortunately, Bruce couldn't join us today, but no worries, we got a better guest host, Better Bruce! Hi everybody, it's me, Better Bruce. A uh, quick little rundown about myself. Uh, my favorite games include Dynasty Warriors, Tony Hawk, and I love Nicholas Wine and Reference, Ooh, cool. Woody Allen, and let's not forget my favorite YouTuber. Well, it's none other than Frank Howley. Oh my gosh, nice to meet you, Better Bruce. We're gonna have so much fun here. It's a new season, a new day, and a new host. We're gonna have so much fun playing so many- What the fuck is this bullshit? Huh? Who the fuck is this? This is Better Bruce, he's the new host. It's not fucking, it's, it's not a host, it's your fucking hand. I don't get the fucking bit here. The <sighs> security code on the door was all changed and I had to stand up there for a half hour and I had to sneak in with well, the Well, I thought we were gonna have fun today. I guess not. What'd you bring for us? I, I'm glad you asked because I brought Nino Kuni 2 at the computer. I miss better, Bruce. Welcome everybody to Nino Kuni 2. This is one, this is the second town of the game, and I'm gonna preference this real quick um, in case you're worried about spoilers. We're not gonna do any story missions, anything like that. We're just gonna focus on a couple side missions and show the basics of the game. Are you so, a cat? Um, so there's two different races. Well, there's a bunch of races in this game, but there's a, a race of cats and a race of humans. And it's confirmed that uh, I'm a hybrid, so a cat and a human fuck. Oh, fucked. great! That's like a. Did you um, see the Cat Returns? That one Ghibli movie? I did. I did. Cute. I like this shit. Yeah. So I'm a. I'm a. I'm a hybrid. I'm into it. Oh, uh, then you got your little Lisa Simpson. Yeah. Friend. I hate this character. It's the worst character of the game. Lofty sucks. Lofty. Um, Mr. Yeah, Drippy. Mr. Forever. Drippy from the first one. Mr. Yeah. Drippy's the best. Lofty sucks. Oh, okay. Um, this game looks gorgeous. So the towns, like the art style, is similar Fucking to the first awesome. game. Yeah. The towns look amazing. Everything else in the game doesn't hold up quite as well as the town. So I wanted to show off the towns real quick. But basically, similar to the first game, you unlock towns, and in the towns you can talk to people and buy items. So you can buy food for your yeah traditional JRPG. Yeah, buy yeah, yeah, food. Yeah. You can accept quests, things yep, like yep, that, yep. and walk around the town, things like that. And but, for, a, for a pinch of context, uh, I, I I played Nino Kuni 1 and loved it. I'm in the middle of Persona 5 right now, so I don't want to take on a new Nino Kuni. So Bruce took the bullet, and he's been playing through Nino mm -hmm. Kuni 2. Yeah, I played Nino Kuni 1 again. It's like a modern JRPG masterpiece. This game, I'm going to preference this right now, I'm very conflicted on. Mm -hmm. There's parts of this game that I love, and parts of this game that I think are incredibly yeah. annoying. And well, I that's don't... honestly, that's kind of how I felt about Xenoblade 2. Yeah. Love the first Xenoblade. Xenoblade 2 was kind of like... A bit too messy, and I kind of stepped away from it. That's how I feel about this game. I feel like it just has one or two too many systems, and I'm just like, why? Um, but okay, yeah, I just wanted to show off this town real quick, and like, hey, like, the towns still look yeah, amazing. Yeah, about how far into this game are you? Right, what does the save at? So this save is at 26 hours. Okay. My current save is at 37 hours, okay. so I have played through this content before. Um, but I will say the first eight hours of this game are extremely slow and boring. It's not, you don't unlock side missions until around the eight hours. I feel like mark. a lot of RPGs in general get, take a while to get going. Mm -hmm. Like, lots of tutorials, lots of story set up. Yeah. Uh, oh, fuck yeah. So, we're gonna do a quest, and we're just gonna do a side quest here. Oh, this, I wanna get this. Shit. Again, you got main quests. Oh, I love it. You get side quests, which you get. Uh, so you cute. get I think there's 170 side quests in the game. Oh, and then you get awesome. tasks as well. So, we are going to. Uh, we're gonna do this side quest. Now, this side quest, to give some context, a witch stole a man's voice, a singer's voice. Okay. And so, we have to go defeat the witch and get his voice back. Damn, this is so pretty. So, we're gonna talk to my pirate guy here. Yo. And we're gonna set sail on the seas, all aboard. All right. So, and for context as well, this town right there is the second town of the game. So don't even think that's. So this is like Wind Waker. Right. Is like what is like the world setting? Is it? Are so, you? So yeah, yeah. The world. I can pull it up here. Okay. So you start over here, yeah. and you slowly unlock this map, and then you work your way down to the coast. Great. You awesome. go to this, and then. This is like uh, Dragon Quest Eight. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this is roughly halfway through the game. The second continent hasn't been unlocked yet. Yeah. So you do a fair amount of, the, of boat stuff, which is again in the first game. One thing I also appreciate with like this game, the first Nino Kuni, is the monsters are like on screen. I hate like random random battles. Yeah. I like that you can choose to engage. So here, um, this is one of oh, the wait, with the this game. This is different. Yeah, this is a uh, so chibi now. It's chibi, and also it's not really noticeable here, but I think the art style suffers in this because it looks more realistic and doesn't have that hand-drawn look to everything. Yeah. 
and it's like this is super colorful so it doesn't really see yeah. as much but when you're in like forest and stuff it looks like shit i think it looks ugly and half the game is this and then when you see when you go into a battle here it goes back to watercolor and it's like fuck see I oh wish, my god that right? looks way better i wish it looks Ooh, like this, 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 this game i wish smooth. i wish it looks like this all the time okay so what's the what's the combat like here is this like hack and slash like is it it is hack and slash there's no more turn base it's completely active fuck yeah um everything is ability based and what are, the, what are these little like nuggets running around? Um, that's your mana and health, and then these are just random items. Okay, because in the first game, the first game's combat system was weird. You had like poke, you basically collected Pokemon, you fought with them. Yeah, so this one completely ditches Pokemon okay. entirely, which is kind of weird because it's set in the same world. So I'm like, yeah. oh, do they just don't exist anymore? Yeah. Uh, this is a fast travel point, so after you collect that, I can now fast travel Great. at any time there. But we are gonna go hunt this witch down. And uh, I'm gonna kind of speed through some of this, so we're not doing every battle. Yeah. But when I was playing this at home, I would do oh, every single. It's gonna single... fuck you up. It's gonna fuck you up. Are you gonna get screwed if they ambush you from behind? Yep. No, because uh, this is what the game does. You just get turned backwards, but it doesn't matter because the combat. Oh, it's yeah. hack and slash. Oh, okay. And again, one of my main complaints with this game, as you can see, is the combat is extremely easy. Like I do one attack and everyone's oh, dead. Oh, kind of like Dynasty Warriors. That seems right up my alley. It's so easy. That's excellent. Good. Good. But here's the thing: it has so many systems happening at once that none of them matter because it's so easy. So I don't care about mm. anything. See, with Xenoblade 2, there was too many systems, and I felt like I wasn't ever leveling. I was never taking the time to progress, so I felt like I got, like, destroyed in Xenoblade. So that's why I kind of stepped away. But with this, it's, like, too easy, so you're just kind of, like, bored it's too, by it. It's too easy, so I don't really care. And after yeah. I do a couple more battles here, I'll jump into the menus and uh, explain all the systems. Yeah. But I don't want to bore everyone immediately of all the menu stuff in this game. Now, like, you sound jaded, but it's because you've put, like, 35 hours in the game. This is my first time seeing any gameplay footage of this game, so I'm enchanted by it. Like, fuck yeah. I don't know if I would still feel that way 30 hours yeah. deep. Yeah. Again, like, you fight the Like, these are the same enemies I was fighting the first five yeah. minutes of the game. So, like, there's a couple unique enemies through areas, but you pretty much fight the same thing over and over. That's also, and again, I'm not, like, I, I haven't played every J, I don't play that many JRPGs. I usually do, like, one or two a year. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of, like, with Dragon Quest VIII. Gorgeous world, amazing setting, but that game was, like, 80 hours. Yeah. I was, like, listening to an audiobook half the time I was playing it, just because it's, like, all right, like, it, it was kind of slow-paced. Uh, but still, I still have fond memories of Dragon Quest VIII, so I still recommend it. But, yeah. Gorgeous setting, but kind of tedious. Yeah, that's how I feel about this game. is a little, There's a little lot of tedious. fucking enemies on screen. Are you? Oh, you're kind of above level. You're 36. Oh no, these are 36 too. Yeah, this is where. Uh, this is actually when the game tries to get a little bit more dynamic and hard. Yeah. It starts throwing more enemies at you. But as you can see, I'm kind of just destroying everything. And again, I'm not even dodging. I'm letting enemies yeah. hit me because you get health back so quickly that it doesn't matter. So it doesn't. Nothing really has consequences for it. Well, good. It's like a nice little Studio Ghibli cartoon. You just watch it. You just have a good time with your friends. Yeah, and there's all these other systems right here that I'm not even using because yeah. there's no point to them. Yeah. And again, I'm trying to rush through this a little bit because uh, I'm just trying to get to the main boss fight here. But we have to climb our way up here and go to the left. Yeah, it's right over there. Let's see if we can avoid. Also, you get an upgrade shortly after this that lets you run faster in the overworld. Fuck yeah. Um, My favorite one of those is the bicycle in Pokemon. Changes your life. Oh, yeah. And there's a little cute bicycle theme. Hey, they confirmed that, right? They're doing a full-blown Pokemon for the Switch. They like they? They, they announced... There was like a teaser a while ago that it's like they're developing... They started development on a Switch Pokemon. Mm -hmm. No footage or whatever, but it's like... Oh, my God. Whenever the fuck that happens. Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, also, you can play different characters. I'm playing as Tony here because she's Tony got... Hawk? Well, not just T-O-N-I. No relation, T -O -N -I, no relation oh, okay. unfortunately. Damn. Um, but I play as her because she's the fastest character. She's got, I really like her spear weapon set. Yeah. And I like, as the, the special attack, I keep doing the giant wind one, yeah. is a giant AoE attack. And I do that because it destroys almost everything. So we have to get right up there into that little castle. I'm going to see if we can don't have to fight this dude. This guy's kind of like a mini boss. Pork. I like the name. That's fucking cool. Pork. 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 That's Turn. cool as shit. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. What? That's the question. He has yep. a quest for you, Bruce. Yeah, the no, question yeah, mark. He's just like, he's like ah. World of Warcraft. Like, you know, ah. A gold question mark means you completed the quest. You can turn it in. He's like, I have no clue where oh, that this bitch is like, went. Uh, this is where Patrick from SpongeBob lives. Hell yeah. So a decent amount of the side quests do take place in kind of barren caves like this throughout the All overworld. Um, luckily, main stories don't take place here, but um, like this is kind of like a dungeon now. Yeah. So when you're in a dungeon like this, the art style does get a little bit more cartoony, and I prefer this much more than the overworld. Yeah. Oh he, wait, oh wait, so you're in a dungeon, but yes. the enemies are just on you, you can walk up and bash? Yeah. Okay, that's fucking great. That's but how, that's I will cool. say, um, there's they create a border, so I can't go past oh, this. Oh, that's annoying. So if I hold down like this, you can escape I can flee. escape. 
But once you initiate a battle, they do make a little border. Okay. Um, here's my Higgly Pigglies. I'm gonna activate They're them. They're little Kadamas, right? The little force. Pretty much. Okay, and so now uh, they create a hearing aura. Ooh, that's awesome. But here's the thing: since battles happen so quickly, these are on a timer, and most of the time, as you saw, you defeat everything before they even activate. Oh wow. So they're only really useful. Like here, they finally activated, but the battle's so over. So my question is: when I played the first game, Nino Kuni. Like, I played it on easy just because, like, I just want to experience the Ghibli world, whatever. Yeah. Uh, but there was a normal difficulty. Is there an easy or a normal difficulty? No. Or is it, it's just one thing? If I could, I would play this game on hard yeah. because the game, pl it's, it's, you're, you're trapped at this easy, easy level. Oh, um, damn. So that's my, so everyone's complaint with the first game, for the most part, is that the battle system became kind of a slog. Yeah. And at certain points, you had to grind in that game. That was my main complaint with it. It feels like this game, they went too far in the other direction, yeah. where everything is now so friendly and easy, and it's just like, well, no, you didn't have to go this far. Well, I also wonder if it's a thing where they're trying to balance, like, hey, this is a Ghibli-type game. Like, it's it's made for an all-ages audience, as opposed to something more hardcore. So I don't know if they're trying to make it more accessible for audiences. I don't know. But again, just have just have another setting, like a yeah. like a like a hard setting. Yeah. Because here, like, this is a dungeon that I. It's supposed to be like this is a level above me even. Yeah. I think the recommended level is 39. I'm 36, and I'm just pff, just Plotting blazing through, through it. And I've only got, like, I'm 37 hours in on my May save. I just got to an area now where it's finally kind of getting difficult. And, I, oh, I actually have to dodge. I've only died once in the entire game, and that was to a boss that kind of got me stuck in an animation. I got stuck in a corner, and I just died. That sounds like an excuse. Um, he sounds hey. like he, the boss fucked you up. All right, so here's the witch. And I'm just going to ignore that comment by Frank there. <laughs> so there's multiple enemies throughout the game that have this purple aurora, aurora around them. And uh -huh. what that basically means is it's they're going to be... Not, not only a boss, but it's going to be a tougher enemy. Oh, cool. They're going to have special attacks. Um, but before I go in here, I think it's a good time. Dude, I have like a purple aura when I go in the mosh pit. Yeah, I, I feel like. that. This is Frank waiting to mosh the Peach <laughs> Kelly pop. Um, but I'm going to explain the combat system real quick, because you've seen the combat now. They're all fucking yawning. Why are they so bored in their own game? Because the combat's boring in this game, man. So, <laughs> so you have though. we have multiple characters. You have a party members yeah, as well. Yeah. I what got, the fuck? Oh, it's you, Bruce. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> there you are. Dude, I, look, I, look, I look pimp look as your fuck. your fucking cool shoes. That's um, awesome. We got the president right here of the United States. Um, what? Yep. What's the plot um, of this game? You know, you'll find out. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, it's the, it's the president, man. Okay. He's got a gun. Uh, so... Wait, the game takes place in America? The opening does, I think. Okay. So, every character has cool different soldier weapons. Cool spear. I like um, that. Here's the problem with this game. Yes. So, I got this weapon. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, there's too much. You have all these weapons. Too much. Um, let's go to my armor. Um, I have all this armor. Does the armor, like, change how you look? Or no. no. I hate that. I hate no. That's why Xenoblade, so, Xenoblade 1 is rad. So, I'm constantly getting all these items constantly. Too much. Yeah. But, um... <laughs> The thing is, is like I don't like, the, I don't really care about this stuff because the gameplay is already so easy. So it's like, oh, every like, oh, like I have a new sword. I'll go equip that on on this dude because he's in my party. Um, but like most of the swords look very similar as well. Yeah. They don't even have different, like like you can see like most of these spares just look like all these look the same. Yeah. Um, and so since the gameplay is so easy, these stats don't really matter. Yeah. And you can even upgrade them, but why would you upgrade them? Which because it's so easy. And you just get so many. Like, here's my bows. Like, I have all these bows. Jeez. Can you sell them, or are they just stuck in your inventory? I you, just don't you, even buy them. I have 50,000 money, uh, and I never buy anything. Um, like, we can go to my items here and look at all of my items. Jesus like, these Christ. are all healing items, but the game's so easy that I barely use them. Again, here's just all of my weapons. Um, here are uh, materials and... The game throw these at you so much. Jesus Christ. And these are usually used for side quests. Yeah. Where it's like, I need five fine furs. Go find them. And it's like, these are all dropped randomly throughout the world. And it's just, the game just, just barfs these out at you. And then same thing with these, like, I have three hardy pendants. They all do the same thing. Can I, I have, have uh, yeah, of course. Uh, like, you get so much of the same shit. Like, look, I have more hardy pendants. Jesus it's Christ. like, I would rather have half of this stuff and it all be unique. Um, but... Furthermore, uh, going to every character, everyone's got uh, different weapons, and so she throws spears, he has swords, he has hammers, he also has swords, and he also has spears. What about guns? Any machine guns? Uh, he, uh, where, where's the president? He has pistols. Fuck yeah. I'm all um, it. But because, like, he has swords and he has swords, I don't want them in my party at the same time, because that means they're competing for the same weapons. Oh, uh, okay. So I want to have hammers... Uh, swords right, and spears, it so I mix it, it up. So I don't really use these two guys over here as much. 
And again, I just like their moveset. Also, everyone's got different skills, Jesus so uh, when I hold down R2 during a battle, I can press one of these buttons, yeah, and that's yeah, yeah. the AoE skill I do. And everyone's cool. got different versions of that. And then uh, you have these little higgly piggly dudes. What the fuck? So basically, um, the new, you the new Pokemon. New Pokemon. Oh, cute though. You unlock them, and oh, I have, and hello. I have more on my save. He's but basically. Cute. As you can see I in like the... I like him. Runkable the Righteous. Yeah. He's shy. Uh, I like him. On the bottom left, it shows his skills, he's like cute. what he's going to be doing during battle. It shows his power level and his shield oh, level. I love him. The only problem is, like Who's I said... Who's Blink? Binks the Time Sweeper? I just cooked her up. She's, she's pretty cool. Uh, but here's the thing. Again, with most of them, I like the system a lot, but because like you just saw most of the battles, yeah. I never used them right. because the battles are over. I'll probably use them during this boss fight. But basically what happens is during oh, battle... Oh, he's fucking rad. Yeah, he's fucking cool as fuck. He's emo. But after... He looks like he, like, uh, like listens to, like, Duran Gray. <laughs> um, but after, like, basically... I'm not sure, but after, like, maybe 20 seconds during battle, they'll all form a circle. You can activate them, and they'll perform a special ability for you. Uh, like I said, I have this guy because he heals your party, which is really nice. Um, and then... I think that's pretty much it. And then, yeah, here's the party. You customize who you want to play as during battle. But yeah, that's kind of it. Again, it's a lot to take in Jesus at first. Christ, it's a lot. Yeah. Uh, and you got your different weapons on the on the left here. They all have the same move. Oh yeah, by the way, all the weapons have the exact same move set. So even if it's a different weapon, it's the same move set. So you have all these weapons, but none of them matter. They all have the same moves. I feel like if I remember, I feel like Nino Kuni it had its Pokemon system, but even with that, it was so way more simple than all this extra stuff. Yeah, and again, it's so, like I'm I'm excited. Like I like all this complex stuff, but because yeah. it's so easy, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Also, I'm gonna skip through her dialogue as fast as I can. Basically, she's gonna be like, "I stole his voice because I loved him." And this and is a I, side quest, right? It's a side quest. Damn. Uh, most of the side quests aren't super story heavy. They're mainly like. Like, um, like, I need this item, or yeah. help me do this. But we're basically like, hey, you gotta give that boy's voice back, or we're gonna fuck you up, and she's like, Dude, my, one, of my, my, one of my favorite chapters in Berserk is there's, like, a whole volume where Berserk Guts or guts goes to, like, a village that's been taken over by, like, fairy pixies, and it's fucking brutal. Uh, is there any, like, blood and guts, like, in this? Is it uh, like Berserk? No, it's no? very pr friendly. Okay, so these Higgly Pigglies are ready to go. I'm gonna activate them. Yeah. And basically, these I perform, like... I like, like the uh, and shit. It's gorgeous. Yeah, this is, a, this is a, a special event, so it's in a special ramp, but basically... They uh, boost my uh, attack yeah. rate, the Higgly Pigglies. Yeah. She has, okay, that attack right there, what she just did, can two-shot me. So I okay. want to be able to, to oh, oh, see that attack. Low. So I'm just going to go boop. But then, can it's you over. you just use all these health items yep. Look at, again, all this fucking Holy items. Shit. The game is too easy. This sounds great for me. I'm um, <laughs> This looks great. But also, enemies drop health constantly. Yeah. Um, also, I guess to explain... Oh, these colors are gorgeous. Uh, oh my god, it's like Starburst. But basically, I can hold this button to block, and then if I press a directional pad, I dodge, and it gives me invisibil invincibility frames. Yeah. Um, any point... Uh, so I dodge that. Any point during the battle, I can switch characters. Hell yeah, that's cool. So this guy, this boy, is got a big-ass hammer. He almost I, dead, though. I don't care if he dies. What? Alright. Um, because if he dies, um... Can you revive? No, you just play as a different character. You can also revive, but there's um, no point, really. But I'm going to use my big AoE attack. I'm just going to chip away at her health. I'm just going to activate these Higgly Piglies. Are they really called Higgly Piglies? I think so. I can look them up. It's some dumb shit like that. I, I spelt it wrong in Wigglies? my notes. Is there something wiggly, diggly, no, I get it. I get it. Uh, it's, it's some It's some bullshit where I don't really care that much. And again, this boss fight is a few levels above me, but it's like, yeah. ah, like... You can handle it. I don't really I don't really care. But they're fucking him up. So what do you get for completing the side quest? Like, is it a really good story? Do you get more items? You, you, get, get, you get items, you get XP, but the main thing is, is you unlock citizens for your town you're trying to build. The whole premise of this game is you... Uh, there's a coup that kicks you out of your kingdom, and you're the rightful heir. That guy right there, the little boy, yeah. the little cat boy. You're the rightful heir to the throne, but there's a coup to get you out of there, and you barely escape with your life in the intro. Hell yeah. And so your like main Anastasia. goal... Yeah, your main goal is just to build your own town again. Hell yeah, okay. And so the whole goal is to just gather citizens and build your own special town. So for doing these side quests, you'll be like, hey, how about you come work in my city now? And so that's how you build citizens up, is okay. by completing quests. Well, now you, will you get a singer to join your town? Yep. Fuck yeah. And those are, those are the Higglies. And now she's like, oh no, please, I loved him. Blah, 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 some bullshit. Damn. And she's fucking dead. Oh, like a hot pixie fairy that loved me. That's problematic. <laughs> and now we're going to talk. He's like, oh no, how did we do this? Um, but what's cool is this game actually has a really good fast travel system. So I just hold down the option button 
good. There's some fast there's travel. some games. I think Final Fan. I can't remember. There's some games that won't let you fast travel if you're inside a dungeon. It's 2018. Let's get let's just fast travel anytime you want. Yeah. You know? All right, so now we're back in town. Uh, we're gonna we can turn in our side quest to this guy, but he gives you a lot of dialogue. Is this Avatar? Why are they all blue? Um, because they're fish people. It's kind of like yeah. it's, it's kind of like Breath of the Wild. That's cool. Uh, but they're not as hot. Yeah. Anyways, so we can talk to him, but I'm not gonna do that because he I gives you. I like the pink and blue. That's a very, lot like, of eye tone. It's very 90s. Yeah, this city I really like. I really it's like cool. the it's art really style pretty. of it. So it also looks like the city in House of the Dead too. <laughs> what the what? You people so, know. Yeah, so you turn in side quests, he'll become part of your kingdom and stuff like that. Different, That's cool. You usually do side quests just to get XP, but then there's a whole other system in the game, which is up here, which are tasks. So we go to our quest here, you got your main story, and then tasks. So these are like, obtain wriggly wheels, get buttons. Extra side quests, basically. So these are extra side quests, pretty much all item-based. Yeah. The only problem is you can't track them. And items drop randomly, so there's no way to grind them out. So it's just out. like every 10 hours, might as well check my... Yes. Yeah, that sucks. It's a little okay. annoying, but what you do here... This guy looks cool. And this is where the game so gets kind of dark. Yeah. Um, but as you can see, look, I can take on tasks, get milk. I already have the milk. Hell yeah. Let's I already have that. that. Milk. I already have most of these because you just play the game, so yeah. they're kind of meaningless. Yeah. But you unlock coins with these special coins. Ah. And what you can do is you can swap them for items. Um, these are usually unique items that uh, you can use to turn into side quests. But again, there's just too Jesus, many. So overwhelming. It, none of them matter. It's too much. Um, but but you are saying though the game is easy enough that you can kind of ignore some shit. Yeah, but I want if you're gonna have all the stuff in the game, I want it to matter. Yeah. But here's when the game gets dark. What if I just bought people? Hell yeah. What if I just bought these people? It's so like, it's Mad Max. Like I can trading. look at these people and be like, oh, what are their skills? Oh, he's going to be good in the cathedral. Yeah. Uh, he's going to be good with cooking. And uh, hmm, I'll buy her. I'm just going to buy her. And it's like, okay, cool. And so now I just have to go talk to her and be like, hey, you work for me now. Get out of here. Is she going to be stoked or is she going to be bummed? They're all, they're all stoked, but it's kind of dark. So it's like, I'm going to go down here and be like, hey, I just purchased Whoa. you. Uh, I'm going to fast forward this, but it's like, oh, I love cooking. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. It's great. And I'm like, hey, you're gonna work for me, go to my town. And then it kind of cuts. And she's like, oh, I'm so excited to go there. And she's fucking gone. Damn. Like, she goes there, like, leaves hey. Leaves her village, leaves her family. Sometimes they're talking to people, and you just walk up to them, like, hey, you gotta go right now. And they, they're just gone. Can we go visit your town and see her? Yeah, I'm gonna, that's like super kind of overwhelming. But, Let's do it. All right, so here's my town. This is the main gimmick of the game, is you're yeah. trying to build this up. But on top of all of this, oh, also, you can kind of see more of what I mean with the overworld looking ugly. Like, this is just, it's just not that. Not as poppy as, because there's a, there's a desert area in Nino Kuni 1 that was like. It looks gorgeous. Yeah, it looks pretty. But this is just like so boring looking. This looks like uh, fucking uh, the Barons in World of Warcraft. I'm into it. Yeah, but basically there's a whole other system in this game uh, that has RTS battles. And these pop up throughout the world, and I'm not going to really do this one because it's the worst part of the game, but Wait, I can the, show. Wait, the RTS game? So basically what happens is, um... What the fuck game is this? Did you put it in a different game? Yeah, so basically, I got, uh, it shows you, uh, move map. So, what basically, what the fuck? here's my army down here. <laughs> I don't remember this in the first and game. And you have to <laughs> basically take out all these dudes. Uh, as you can is see... Is this still Nino Kuni? Yeah, on the right side it says, avoid bandit victory at all costs. Okay. Failure, Evan forces are defeated. Oh, I was like Dynasty Warriors. All right. So you can bolster your fortress, which is like what give you fuck? give you boosts what? and stuff like this, but it costs money. Um, you can inspect the enemy forces. What is this? So it's like, mm, what are the enemy rocking? Um, and then you can um, muster forces. So these are my army dudes, uh, and what? you can you can swap these out. These what are these are this? these are citizens. What is this? These are citizens that I scouted. Jesus Christ. So you can see their levels on the right side, um, but basically these are super boring. Um, I, I wonder if I can just, I'm gonna just load this up and so show it real quick. So basically what this is, is like, it's all cheapy and he's like, you'll never get me. And we have to go kill that guy because he's a bandit and we is just have to kill him. Is this all optional or do you have to do this? There is multiple story missions where you have to uh, do this. And so if you don't grind it out, you'll become under leveled. So you have to do some of this stuff. But basically what happens is with the bumpers, I can rotate my, uh, my characters around me. So I have, uh... I have sword dudes, arrow dudes, gun dudes, and heavy dudes. So it's like a rock, paper, scissors type thing? Kind of, and I have to just move them around, but I, they auto attack, so I do nothing. Cool. So I just hold them up like this, and like, all right, let's go fight. Oh, and that's all right. we, we just do this. But these, this is gonna last like 15 minutes, sometimes 20 minutes. Like really 15 minutes? Yes. Are you and you just sit here. It's so fucking boring. I hate it. And also, the don't, they don't really explain the system that well. And so, I don't really know how to upgrade my forces, other than just finding new citizens. You can also summon in attacks. 
Um, but basically, on the left side, as you can see, they have the enemy might, which is 12,000, and then my might, which is 3,000. Right? Yeah, this is way over above my level, so I'm not even supposed to really okay. be doing this. But this is like the worst part See, of the like, game. See, like in a, uh, I think Metal Gear Peace Walker, or no, Metal Gear, yeah, whatever the PSP one on PS3, they had like those little missions where you can send your units out to yeah. go destroy them. But you don't have to visualize the battle. You just like level, you know, you level up your dudes and you send them off to the mini missions, and then they come back. A lot of games have that now, but like having to sit there and actually like engage like, and I was, and I'm not, I'm not pressing any buttons. I'm like, okay, well, I hope he attacks him. Please attack yeah. this dude. Hey, can you attack this dude? I'm just letting him kill me right now. I don't, I'm not gonna summon. Nickers. Nickers, yeah, oh, Lofty sucks. I hate Lofty, but this is the worst part of the game. It's boring, it's dull, they last way too game long. Game over! So, it's the worst part of the game, by far. Well, game's over. Game's you over, rest in peace. Credits. Yeah, so this is the worst part of the game. Um, you have to do it at certain parts, but now we're gonna show you the real meat of the game, which, again, is exploring these worlds, getting side quests, stuff like that, but the whole point of it is to feed back into your town here and try to expand it. So we're gonna jump into here. All right, oh, this is cute. so this is my town that I'm slowly- This is slowly... like Dragon Quest Builders or whatever the fuck. Um, not as cute though. Yeah. They are slowly building, so basically- It's kinda nice, I really like this. Um, what I have to do is I'm gonna go press triangle and manage my town. All right. So manage my kingdom. So, wow. you build these um, structures and then you hire people. So here is a weapon shop. And so I have- Jesus Christ, there's all this like strategy stuff in this So game. I have these, and these are all NPCs you meet throughout the story, or you get them during side quests, or you buy them from the slave market like yeah. I showed you earlier. And so you hire here, and so it says suitable. Jesus. Suitable, and so as you can see on the right side, it says uh, this person will produce your mining camp. So it kind of tells you where they'd be good, and they also level up. So these two people are re ready to level up, so I can just level those guys up. I have to go to uh, citizens. Are there like quests or or points in the game where they kind of hold your hand and walk you through this, or do you just have to figure this all out? They have to figure some of it out. The game doesn't do a good job of telling you a lot of basic stuff, um, but basically, what you have to do is just build these things, and as you build these things, you get more money, you gain more influence, because basically you're trying to build a kingdom to rival the king yeah. kingdom that got you out of like the thing. But half of this stuff, I'm not sure what it does. Like, okay, so this spell shop. Um, basically, if I can go there, basically I built this spell shop and I leveled it up a little bit, so I can, now I can go here, and I can click on a character, and I can level up the spells they do All during right. battle. that's not bad. So that's useful, right? Yeah. So that's useful, but I built this thing with a bunch of money, but this is purely, like, improve armor and stuff. Like, oh, make this armor better, but again, the game is so easy yeah. that it doesn't matter. Yeah. And then here I can make armor and stuff, but again, the game is so easy that it doesn't matter. Here's a weapon shop where I can build weapons and improve them. Game's so easy, doesn't matter. Um, the main things that hap that matter is that spell shop I showed you, and this shop right here is where you make higgly piggly's. Oh, nice. Or hig higgly dees. Hig higgle dees. Higgle dies. Uh, higgly piggly's. So wait, I can wait, higgle. How do you pronounce it? I don't higgle know. Dice. So here are ones I can make, uh, and I just make them out can of random stuff. Can you preview what they look like? That's all I want to see. What happens in if the triangle? Left, in the left in corner. Triangle. I want to see their. Yeah, I like seeing like the the. I mean, I'll 3D. just make this one. That's a lot of gold to waste. Um. Oh, he's like Steve Martin. He's up again, I have. He's a nut. Yeah, so he's just like chilling crazy. there. So he's like, ah. And like then you can cool. nurture higglies, which is cool. the same one as the first game. You just yeah. feed them stuff. Okay, I remember that. I remember that. So again, like I have thirty of these, Munch twenty-five of, nuts, of yeah. these, thirty-two of these, and they'll level them up in battle and make them more powerful. So this and the spell sh shop are the only two that really matter. All the other places you can buy certain items from, and sometimes these dudes will have quests for you. Like, uh, like this guy right here has a quest for me where he wants me to bring him a level 5 arrow, but I haven't found one yet. So they'll occasionally have quests. One thing that is cool is since you scout all these NPCs from the game, you know them. Yeah. So it's like, oh, these all have their own stories, and I know who they are. Here's a guy who cooks me food, but again, the game's so easy, it doesn't matter. But I'm going to break this down and why I don't think this is good. Basically, the town will make you money. It will generate money. Uh, and so you come here and collect it. Hmm. It's like, oh, your town has made this much money. And so that goes into my king money. Yeah. But this uh, this is on a timer, and it caps out every, like, 30 minutes. Oh, you have to keep so going back? So if you don't come back every uh... 30 minutes or so, you're wasting money. And if I manage my kingdom here, uh, there's 44 things to be built. And this one right here, um, this one right here costs $25,000. Uh, these ones cost three thousand dollars, and then you have to level them up, which costs five thousand uh, dollars. This one over here, I think, costs fifty thousand dollars. Yep. So you have to come back constantly to upgrade it and to constantly keep a track on this. And then this right here is a good example. So uh, if I want to research something here, 
um, I click research, and then this right here is a good example, Brisk Stol Stroll. So, in order to get Brisk Stroll, which means I move faster in the overworld, like running, what it, the requirements down there means I have to have an IQ of 100, which, as you can see on the top left, IQ is 292. That's the, the people in there. Yeah. And then I have to level up this building to level 2 to unlock this perk. And then I have to get a staff member that knows our doorsiness. And what that means is one of these guys knows has the perk of being outdoorsy. Yeah, Hoyden. Yeah. And so that already takes up a lot of time. Like, this is 25 hours, and I just got this stuff. So then it's like, okay, well, I finally have the ability to unlock this. Thank God. Let's unlock it. Oh, um, it's going to take 25 minutes. And you have to sit here. Oh, if you want to boost it, you can hit boost this and spend more money and it'll be done instantly. Why is there like free to play shit in exactly. this game? Exactly. This part of the game, I'm being real. This part of the game is super fun. Like I like building out my town. It means it feels yeah. like I'm accomplishing something, but it's filled with all this free to play bullshit. Oh, I have to come back every 25 minutes and get my money. Oh, I have, oh, that to, sucks. I have to upgrade this building. Like, okay, let me, yeah. le let's level up the facility. Uh, and it's like, this costs $7,000. Oh, but I want to build this building over here. And, oh, wh okay, which building? Do I level this up? Or yeah. Again, there's 44 buildings. That's so much money. And so this game, it just feels like a way to artificially and pad, like, it, out, and pad yeah. it out. Like this game, I'm close to the end of the story, but I'm nowhere near oh my God. the end of this. So it feels well, like... I mean, a lot of JRPGs have, like, post-game content. After you clear the story, that's when the game begins, you know, whatever. But I always tune out. Like, when I beat Final Fantasy X, yeah, I could have spent another 400 hours getting everyone's ultimate weapon, but it's like, I'm done with it. But so, yeah. I mean, here if you if you love the world of, like, Studio Ghibli and Nino Kuni, you can spend time with this, but it's like, I... I so again, I, I'm down to spend time with this. Like, yeah. I want to build my full thing out. Like, in my real save, I only have two more buildings to build. Okay. But again, it took me 10 hours to yeah. get all this money. And that's I have a timer on my phone while I play to come back here and collect Jeez. my money. Hell yeah. Um, but the I'm, I'm okay with having to grind out money, but the fact that there's a cap on how much you can earn and the fact that you have to wait for research to be done sucks. I don't get it. And one pro tip, actually, to make this a little easier pro on people. Pro tip. Uh, the game doesn't explain this, by the way. Pro tip. Um, so right now my money caps at $5,000. Yeah. But you can go here and hit expand coffers. And now I can hold up to $15,000. Okay. But I still have to come back every, like, 25 minutes yeah. or so. So it helps out a little bit. But still, it's like I have to sit here and do it. And then I want to level up this kingdom. But down there it says I have to have 50 or more citizens yeah. or 35 more buildings. So the whole story of the game is about you building out all this stuff, but the wrapper around it feels like a chore, and it's yeah. a real bummer. Because, like, again, it's like, I like building this out. It's super cute and fun, but the fact that I have to wait on things to be built, the fact that I have to grind out currency constantly is a real drag, and it, it just feels artificial to me. It doesn't make sense in the storyline, you know? Yeah, but also, that's, I'm interesting, because, like, if, if and when I do play this game, I... I like like shit like that in video games. Some stuff I like. Gr I love grinding. Like I don't care wasting my time if it's the thing I enjoy so much. Why I like Dynasty Warriors so much. Like, I like Metal Gear Five, the base building and stuff like that. So I'm curious if when I do play this game, if I'll get into it. Seeing all this at once is like super overwhelming. But I don't know. But people watching this, let me know. Are you enjoy? Did you play Nino Kuni Two? Are you enjoying Nino Kuni Two? What do you think of all the base building mechanics? Do you dig it? Do you not like it? Mm -hmm. uh, again, I love Nino Kuni One, so I think I'll give this game a shot. It looks super pretty. And again, even if I'm tuned off by all the exercises or systems, like, whatever, I'll still go through the main stuff. Like, this looks fucking cute, and that's what I again, want. I don't need the base building stuff. I just want this. I just want to whack cute shit. But again, this even, like, again, it's so over so quickly. It's just like, uh, like, you get over it so quickly. Yeah. And I, I haven't even talked about the story in this game, but I think the writing is the most base level shit really? in the world. Like, for example, there, this, this little twerp you play as, the whole point is he gets kicked out of his kingdom, and he's like, I want to build my own kingdom. And my kingdom's gonna be built out of love, and we'll, ne and we'll never have war again. That's cute. But it's so, it's so pandering and yeah. just so boring to do. Like I'm not a fan of it. Is his like, name Grimchilla? This enemy you're fighting. His item is cool yeah. Shit. So like, 
like the uh, boat building is stuff is like kind of boring. I wish there was just an open world like MMORPG that looked as this fucking cute and like this polish. Like, right? God, if I could play World of Warcraft, but everything looked as cute as this, oh, I'm in. I just want to kill. Sh oh. I just want to like destroy and stuff and just have fun. Destroy like, stuff, like yeah. Like it's honestly, super fun. Dragon Quest Builders was amazing because everything was this fucking cute and you're just grinding shit up. But it's like focused enough. You don't mm -hmm. have all this extra bullshit. And Again, I can't recommend Dragon Quest Heroes enough. I love that. Game. It's great. And I guess uh, two more things I have to show off. Holy uh, shit! You have your tactic tweaker. Uh, Fuck this! Next! Next! So... <laughs> Next! All right, what else do you got to show off? Um, I have, to, I have one more thing to show off. It's the best part of the game. Okay. Um, the game constantly tells you you have a leaf book. Nice. And it says, hey, there's a new post in the leaf book. Let's check it out. Um, let's see what's in the leaf book. Oh, it's my partner. Get a load of my dress. I look like a million guilders in it, right? Ooh, let's see the comments. Whoa. Oh, ooh. Ooh, they proposed to you. Can you leave a comment? You. Can you like it? No. Um, let's look, look, look. look Wait, at, is this like Instagram for is your NPCs? It, this is basically Facebook for really? your NPCs. Like, look at this one. Ha ha, I stole Evan's leaf book and took wow. a picture of Bantu without him noticing. Arr, there'd be a born leader of men. Like, it's just like, what is well, this? Well, a lot of people are leaving leaf book because of all, like, they, they steal your data, you know? So, I wouldn't trust playing this game. Look at this guy. He's lost. I lost. So, yeah. Did if, you get anything for for contributing do you get any likes in this? no i can't post anything it's just uh, something to look at that's all right a little extra fun stuff it's all just right. very weird and you get fish facts can you slide in anyone's dms on this or is it just is it just uh dude i wish i could slide in his fucking dms let holy me holy shit let me master fucking, pugnacious dude, let me fucking tell you he's got a mm. hell yeah look at he's got a fu manchu mustache I'm fucking look it all right, so that was Nino Kuni 2. Uh, again i'm kind of conflicted about this game there's so many systems happening in the game but half of them don't really matter because everything around it is so easy yeah. and meaningless. Like the game constantly throwing weapons, items, quests at you, but the, I don't care because I'll just breeze through the but combat. But it all looks so cute. It looks pretty cute. The overall is ugly, and I didn't talk too much about because I didn't want to spoil it, but the story itself I think is a little basic and kind of annoying. Like it's not Ooh. very engaging. Ooh. Like the first game, like you're trying to find your mother in this yeah. other world. It was super, First game, again, fucking phenomenal. It's amazing. Like you're, it's so genuine and heartfelt. This game does not feel heartfelt. Also, as a real quick thing, the first game has a lot of animated cutscene and a lot of oh, yeah. like, full motion cutscenes. Yep. None of that in this game. Damn. All like all of the cutscenes are text based. Like there's a couple where they have animation, yeah. but it's like ten seconds. Uh, how's the music though? Because the soundtrack of the first game, I loved it. It's music, by Joe Hisashi. The music is the guy. exact same. It's pretty much remixes of the first yes, game. Yes, but it. again, it's like the same music. I'm okay with that. It's, it's but. Uh, I'm, Anyways, I'm, what's your review? I, the more I play this game, the more I do like it. Okay. I think I'm just gonna go with a solid no thumbs though. Whoa. All right. Like again, like everything I like about this game, ev like the combat, yeah. the story, yeah. I like one thing, but then hate two things. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I'm very conflicted. Again, after I beat it, maybe I like it more. Yeah. But right now, I'm gonna give a solid no thumbs. I'm so neutral. But let me know in the comments because I feel like everyone's all over the place on yeah. this game. Because I was looking, it got like eights and nines on whatever. But uh, I love the first one. The first one I give two thumbs up. I haven't played this one yet because I'm knee deep in Persona. But just from looking at it, I think I like it. I give it a thumbs up. I haven't played it yet, so when I do, maybe I'll let y'all know. But again. Uh, yeah. The first game, fucking one of my favorite PS3 games, one of my favorite games of the last generation. Amazing, amazing. Awesome, awesome game. Play this, maybe Nino Kun later. Yeah, if you're if this game looked interesting, especially the art style, like if you wanted yeah. to play this game for the art, yeah. play that one, the art is better. Yeah. If you want to play this for the combat, combat's yeah. pretty fun, and but hey, again. I like, I like easy, repetitive hack and slash shit, so maybe I'll love it. Let me know in the comments what you think. Also, be sure to email us, aftercomputershow at gmail.com. This episode's long because Nino Kun has so much extra stuff, blah, blah, blah. But we'll answer your emails in the future. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, whatever. I'm at Frank Howley. Underscore Brewsums. And uh, with that, that's our 50th episode of At The Computer. Hey! Holy shit. Congrats, what everyone. What a fucking waste of my life. But anyways, uh, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week at The Computer. All right, good we episode. Good? Yeah. Good? All right, All right. I'll see you next oh, week. Dude, thanks I'll so much. You, All right, take care. Hey, wait, uh, yeah, see you, man. All right. Yeah. All right, he's gone. <laughs> I ain't going anywhere.